Chapel Hill has had its fair share of protests, and tomorrow will be no different. CBS 17 Zach Dahlheimer live along Franklin Street with what you need to know ahead of the demonstration groups have planned. Zach. Well, Marius, I want to show you this right next to me. If you see this here, this is a no parking sign, cone, and blue flyer that's been set up. We've been seeing town officials setting this up not only here, but if you walked down the rest of this section of Franklin Street here near McCorkle Place, you'd see more cones and signs set up. Now, town officials say they and UNC officials have been preparing for two rallies that are scheduled for tomorrow afternoon on both town and university property. And we talked with students earlier today about one group's message. Friday night, Chapel Hill officials laid out cones and signs preparing for upcoming rallies. The group Take Action Chapel Hill posted on Facebook an event titled Racists Out of UNC Rally and Recontextualization. What are you preparing for tomorrow? Tomorrow? Hoping to hang out with some friends and have some honest history. UNC student Calvin Deutschbein plans on taking part in tomorrow's rally after putting up a plaque that town officials removed along with the Jefferson Davis Highway Memorial marker. But we really are concerned about public safety and um, people's right to put plaques and do things doesn't come at the expense of public safety. I think we need to think about where we are as a country if we cannot have objects honoring black lives in public spaces without so being a cause for public safety. And I think we need to think about what we need to do to change that. Deutschbein says the plaque designed by students centered around a woman referenced by Julian Carr in a speech at the dedication of Silent Sam in 1913. The woman mentioned in Julian Carr's speech is continuing the great tradition of resistance to racism in the American South, and that's an important story that should be remembered. And I think recontextualizing is what the plaques memorializing black lives have been doing. For Deutschbein, he says they'll continue their project while speaking out this weekend. Just have a loud voice, just to be present. And that's what I'm hoping to do tomorrow. According to the Facebook event, Take Action Chapel Hill's rally is set to start at noon. Now, in their Facebook event's description, they described their event as a counter demonstration to a rally to be held by the groups Act Back and Heirs to the Confederacy. Now, we reached out to Act Back about for comment regarding tomorrow, and they have not gotten back to us. Live in Chapel Hill, Zach Dahlheimer, CBS 17 News. Zach, thank you. As you just watched, tomorrow is a big one in Chapel Hill. Along the protest, along with protest, there's a basketball game at 345. Expect delays from noon through the evening. Franklin Street will be congested and Henderson between East Rosemary and East Franklin will be closed.